A growing number of schools nationwide turning to armed security to protect kids. Michael George visited one school to see how they balance safety with education. For many kids returning to the classroom, this will be the new normal. More and more schools are implementing armed security in the wake of the massacre in Uvalde. At the Derby School District in Connecticut, armed officers have been on patrol for five years. We don't know uh, the next time somebody could come through a school door in any school across this country. And you want to know you've done everything in your power to protect the people inside. Hi, Mr. C. How are you? All security officers here are required to be former law enforcement. They spend a lot of time communicating with teachers and talking to students. But lead security officer Tom Paytack says their mission is not student discipline. We are here to make sure everyone comes to school, comes in safe, leaves safe, and that everyone's here. There's no intruders, there's no uh, issues outside in the perimeter. Here in Derby, safety officers are carrying their weapons in the open. The point is to be visible, so potential threats know the school has armed security. But armed guards are not an automatic deterrent. A study in JAMA Network Open found in one in four school shootings, the school did have armed security on site. And with districts nationwide considering armed guards, parents are debating the merits and pitfalls. For people of color especially, um, it makes us more, a little more nervous, naturally, uh, just because of history. Parent Joe Martino, who's an unarmed school security officer, says he feels better knowing his daughter has armed guards at her school. They're right on hand in case something does happen. They're, 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 you don't have to wait for two, three, four minutes for the police to come. They're right there, ready to act. He hopes they never have to act, but like so many parents, he knows school shootings can happen in any community. Michael George, CBS News, Derby, Connecticut.